we are going to practice breaking up numbers again. The main thing is that we need some counters. Now I've got blocks, but you can use anything, bread tags, pasta, anything you like. You can also use a counting frame. The other name for this is an abacus. So whatever you've got, it doesn't matter. So when we look at the number 11, the main thing is we want to see that there is a group of 10. So for 11, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So our group of 10 is always at the top. And after 10 comes, 11. So when we draw our number also, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 at the top. And 11 is the one at the bottom. So I have a 1, a 10, and a 1. Now if I do 13, again I want to see I've got my group of 10 at the top. After 10 comes 11, 12, 13. So when I draw it, once again, my 10 goes at the top. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I can write my 10. And after 10 comes 11, 12, and 13. So I've got 3 at the bottom. All right. When you are using a counting frame like this, you put your 10 at the top and then you count 11, 12, 13. So I can see 10 at the top and 1, 2, 3 at the bottom. So we want to see that the 10 group and then whatever else goes with it.